What's up, nerdlings? What's up? Do you nerd for getting rid of stuff? What's up, guys? This is Jay from the Game Chasers, and you are watching Do You Nerd? You never get rid of anything. <laughs> that is very, very true. And it really doesn't change for this video. <laughs> but we were tagged by Loaf's over at Big Retro Show. I'm going to go ahead and tag Do You Nerd for this challenge. Now, they've probably already been tagged um, by other content creators. But if they haven't, then I challenge, I challenge them. Links down below because he's got an awesome channel like for all things retro. So seriously, guys, check him out. And he did tag us. Three things games to get rid of in the collection that are $25 or more. Like she said, I don't get rid of any games. We keep them all, so this is kind of an arbitrary list. <laughs> Not even consoles or handheld consoles That's or any of those things. True. When a new version comes out, the old version just goes on the shelf. Mm -hmm. There is one exception though, this first game. Mm, all right, so here's the deal. A sealed copy of Night Trap on the <gasps> don't Switch. Don't let people know we have something sealed. Oh. Well, I guess I don't need this shirt anymore. Well, there's a reason for that <laughs> because we did get the nice collector's huge, edition. Yeah. <laughs> and we, oh, we tore into this. So this is open. The bundle that we bought at the time we had to get the full on huge bundle mm -hmm. to get this and it also came with just the standard game so we and don't, don't know i'm no stinking standard well we do have a copy of this <laughs> that we don't need so i would get rid of this and it is over 25 dollars. you're missing the point here so i kind of cheated on that first one but because that's okay it's actually a duplicate <laughs> that's cheating my game is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I didn't hate this game. It's not even a meh game for me. It just was a different game. I enjoyed playing it, but not as much as I enjoyed playing the first game. A lot of people give it a hard time saying it's a bad game. It's not a bad game at all. It was a different game. It wasn't what people expected. Hello? This one I could take or leave, because I really liked the way the first one played. And, I mean, I do love my Luigi. I've got myself a custom Gooigi that glows in the dark. Rocker Gaming, plug plug. Yeah. But this is probably one that you wouldn't pick up again and play. Correct. Yeah, I, I will never pick this one up again and play, so I have no problems if we were to ever get rid of our games, getting rid of this one. All right, the last thing for me, again, not to get rid of any of this stuff, but if I had to choose something, honestly, the handhelds. Look, we collect the handhelds. Original Game Boy, doesn't matter how big, how little <laughs> these things are. Dude, this thing probably would even make my hand look big. The special editions, or even the more oddball stuff. It doesn't matter. I have man hands, they're hard for me to use without killing my hands and making them <laughs> cramp up. If I can't play this stuff on a TV, I generally don't play it at all. Which is why, if I were to get rid of anything, it would probably be the handhelds. Let's face it, I'm not going to play the games on these, especially if I can just play it on a bigger screen anyway, and with the real controller. Yeah. Woo! Nintendo smoke. Don't breathe this. So there you go, nerdlings and Big Retro Show. We might have cheated just a little bit, but let's face it, we're not really getting rid of any of these, except maybe this one. But those are some games and things that we would get rid of from our collection. Ship them all! We're gonna take them out a whole new door! <laughs> now, I want to stop you right there, though, and give an honorable mention 
because it didn't meet the criteria of being over $25, but I really did not like this Sims 4. It really, really irritated me because I had so much fun with Sims 3 and all the other Sims games, and it was completely different than everything else. The writing was uber duber tiny, so I had to literally sit on top of the television in order to read what was going on, and I bought it brand new day one, even spent all the extra money for that DLC that came out the day with it, and I played probably maybe 20 minutes of it, and is terrible, and that is a game I would totally 100% sell. She's never gonna let that game live it down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it ruined me! Sims was my favorite game of all time! <laughs> well, at this point is generally when we would tag some people. However, this has been kind of making the rounds in the community, so we are going to throw it out there, an open tag, to any of you watching this that would love to let us know... We tag you! What are three games in your collection over $25 that you would get rid of. So, be sure to like, drop some comments down below on how much you love Sims 4 just to get her riled up again. Or how much <laughs> you love handhelds just to get me riled up again, you, you weirdos with your normal hands. You take my little hand. No, get it away from me! I will say I'm a glutton for punishment, so if Sims 4 came out on the Switch, I probably would give it a try again because maybe then I could actually read what they're saying on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Links to Big Retro Show in that description down below. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it, just not for handhelds. Look at this thing. And I could eat this thing. Don't, don't. They, they didn't coat it like they did the Switch things. Yeah, I can't even play this thing. It's too tiny. Links to Big Retro Show in the description below. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and... I'm gonna die! Swallowed an air bubble. <laughs>